Hey guys, my name is Chetan Ishnuri and today we're gonna review the Zen 7 Marshmallow ROM for the Galaxy S3 and NT300 by A2K. And first of all, we're just gonna dive into the settings and as you can see the ROM is based on the ASP or the stock Android and we're just gonna go in settings and as you can see that this is themed uh, white and blue and these are the normal connection settings over here and now we're gonna go in sound and as you can see you have the ringer volume and normal sound settings over here you have different ringtones over here from the HTC I guess or the stock Android and you have display and light settings once again from the AOSP based ROMs and you also have the LCD density settings you can change the LCD density according to your needs and we're just gonna go back and you also have day and you also have daydream and you have battery light changes over here you have notification light these are for the LED indicator light right over here and you also have the themes from the AOSP based ROMs I guess and you also have the lock screen over here you have swipe pattern pin and password over here and you also have the live lock screen i really don't know what that is so let's check it out and that is the colors i guess and that is i guess the lock screen when your phone is in charging mode or something else so let's just turn it off and you also have the display music visualizer you have lock screen shortcuts over here you can change these according to your needs you also have this uh, lock screen message like if I put in hello over here it will be shown on the lock screen like there's the hello as you can see and so let's get into the phone once again and let's go back and you also have buttons over here which I guess uh, are for the virtual buttons and all and you also have the backlit buttons over here you can change the time backlit light for these buttons over here you have also have the power menu settings over here you have screenshot if you want to enable the screenshot over here or not and if I hold down the power button it will show the screenshot now and if I enable the sound panel it will also show that as well so you also have the end call on pressing the power key you have wake up device, you have many settings over here which you can change according to your needs. You have battery settings here in which you have balance, power saving mode and power performance mode. And in the power saving mode as you can see there is the notification and as well as the orange notification bar over here uh, from the stock android. And I don't think you can change that. You have the battery optimization options here which is loading and you also have the battery uh, saver mode uh, which can enable itself according to your needs you can set uh, it to turn on automatically never at 5% or at 15% so let's go to balanced once again and you also have the security settings over here you can encrypt your phone you have make password visible so you can change administrator applications and all so you also have the memory settings you have users and currently you have guest and you and you have system profiles you have status bar settings over here you can customize your rom according to your needs like you can set the clock in center right left hidden as well and you can also change the battery percentage um, battery percentage where you want to see it or not and you also have the app settings account setting privacy google and location settings you have date and time you have accessibility settings and you can also turn on the caption magnification gestures large text and all and let's turn that off you can also turn on the high contrast text and you also have the color inversion which looks really nice and you also have the color correction over there and you have storage in USB, and you also have the A2K center which I guess shows the if you have a update for this ROM or not 
you, if you have something extra you have support over here and let's get out of it and then let's go into about device and as you can see that the android version is 6.0.1 which is marshmallow and it does also have the marshmallow easter egg and you also can see that the kernel is enforcing so let's get out of it and i think that's it with the settings and you also have the search option in the settings and let's get out of it now and the taskbar and task menu is just like the ASP based ROM and you also have the users mode over here you can change users from there and you also have the phone app from the ASP based ROM which but a little bit difference like uh, the this button is changed a little bit and you also have custom application drawer over here and it is not like the ASP based ROM it is colored and you also have the calculator app over here from the ASP based ROM and you also have the calendar app from Google as well so let's get out of it nothing special in this and you also have the camera app and as you can see there is the name of the developer of this ROM and you can change the mode of the camera by swiping left to right and paranormal mode camera mode and there is a selfie mode and you can also change the uh, flash settings from here you have also change you can also change the camera mode from here as well and there's the video button over there and you also have different settings over here you can change the mode over here landscape text uh, land portrait night and all you also have the ISO settings over here which is not working right now I guess it works in the camera mode uh, yeah and there's the ISO mode and which is not working right now you can set the EV and you have the uh, white balance settings and you also have different settings over here you can change the um, aspect ratio of the images and you also have the camera options you have the review duration we can set it up to 5 seconds 15 and 20 I guess and you also have the self timer you have video quality and all let's get out of the camera now and you also have the clock app which is a little bit different from the Google one Google's one and let's get out of it and you have the contacts app from the Google as well so let's get out of it and you have download and you have earth app which you don't see in every smartphone and it is really cool if you wanna try it so let's get out of it and let's get into the file manager from the Google as well I guess I've never really used a ASP based phone or stock Android phone so you also have the FM radio you have fun fit over here and I'm, I have never used this uh, app and it is actually a fitness app so you can really enjoy that and you have gallery app you have HTC fetch and maybe it is just for syncing between your HTC devices let's get out of it and let's turn off the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi as well. You have HTC football feed as well. Let's accept that. And I guess it shows the football results. And let's get out of it. If you are into football, you can use that. And you also have the HTC newsroom. And you have HTC transfer tool. You have Facebook light over here. You have mail. You have messaging app from the ASP based ROM as well your music app which is different from the stock android music player and you also have the news and weather you have notes app you have peel smart remote you have phone which you have already seen you have photo editor and let's try a pic from the photo from the gallery and 
and I don't really have any pictures in this memory card so it's just gonna get out of it and you have pictures queue lock screen and let's get that and I guess it shows the picture on lock screen I guess and you have power to give which is I think that you can use your device in as a um, power bank for the for uh, for charging the other uh, for charging other devices and and you have scribble as well you have sense toolbox you can change many things about this rom over here and it is a very customizable rom and you also have the settings sheets themes you have also have the wiper for android which is my favorite app for um, audio modulation and I use this in my S4 all the time and you also have the web browser over here from the stock android I guess and I think that's it with the ROM but the ROM is really fluent and I guess this is the fastest ROM I have ever reviewed and I really like this ROM and I would seriously recommend this daily usage and this is a really beautiful and really fast ROM and it is very fluidic so hats off to the developer and I think that's it thanks for watching guys